Hi everyone, I'm Dave Giancola, joined again by Mike Trosel for another U.S. Open Classic finish. The 2015 U.S. Women's Open was played at Lancaster Country Club in Pennsylvania, and Mike, enormous crowds came out to watch the best players in the world. Now, after four top 10 finishes in her previous five U.S. Women's Opens, Amy Yang finally seemed poised to break through on the biggest stage. Now, Dave, she led by three strokes through 54 holes and maintained that advantage through 10 holes in the final round. Stacy Lewis and NG Chun were in hot pursuit, hoping that the seemingly unflappable Yang would stumble down the stretch. And we'll catch up with the leaders on the 11th. Another one in the water on that hole. Toughest part three on the course. Back to 11. Right down the center. Ladies are well ele elevated above this fairway. So 20 yards down the hill, and that's absolutely perfect. They're almost through the most difficult stretch. Lancaster Country Club, 8 through 12. This 11th has been a difficult hole for the ladies all week. Just four birdies today. Amy Yang. Two-shot lead, important to get this ball in the fairway. See a much higher ball flight. And a good result. Let's go to 18. And Brooke Anderson, who was in a minor car accident last week, had to withdraw from a Symmetra event. Go. Three under for this championship, but in a great spot here at 18. Yeah, you notice too, Joe, she wasn't that far behind Lexi Thompson, so she can get that little white pill out there a long way, too. She's 17, she better, better be able to swing at that thing. Now Oyama. See, she's down in the low here. Short of the 11th green. This up at least four to five feet. It's a perfect lead, Steve. It's a perfect lead straight up the hill. Perfect lead, but she got really aggressive with it. Now she's complicated her thing. It's going to be a difficult par for Shiho. Amy Yang leading by two. Trying to hold off all pursuers. The U.S. Women's Open. While we were away, Inji Chun. This is a difficult putt. Big swinger. It's got to stay up. It's hard to be too aggressive with that. Get it to the hole, you think, from that angle, you could just run it five feet by. Shiho Oyama for her par. This has got to be a good six inches outside left. It's fast, too, Steve. Quite a bit of movement from left to right. She's made a lot of good putts. He just never got it high enough. Tricky hole location on 11 today. That's why there's only been four birdies. She's, she's actually in really pace on the greens all day, Steve. Yeah, Jay, she actually was in good shape there, even though she missed the green, putting straight up to the hole, just got way too aggressive with it. I was watching to see if she thought about chipping it at all, but she went straight to the putter as soon as she got to her ball. I don't think a putter was a bad play. I just think she misread it and hit it too hard, especially when you got nerves. I mean, I think putting would be the easiest part to do. Yeah, Julia. I've Walk down on that low area earlier in the week, and it's a grainy little bent grass at you, so chipping it could be a little dicey. Okay, five at the 11th for Shiho. Drops a shot. Now three back of Amy Yang. Let's go back down into the fairway now, and Amy Lewis getting ready to, excuse me, Stacy Lewis getting ready to hit yeah. her second. Yeah. Probably starting to add it and fading it and holding it. All of a sudden, she's back in second place. Exactly three shots back, so. A lot of 
still happen, right, yeah. Julie? I'm not sure second place is where she wants to be, but she's got uh, some holes to make that up. This is six iron. Just trying oh. to land it barely Go on to the right. Needs to get up. You see one of those false fronts there. Talked about Stacy Lewis. She's tired of second place. Her runner-up finishes since her last win, which was last year at the Northwest Arkansas. The ANA Inspiration, Founders Cup, Thailand. Right on down the line. And here she is right now, tied for second, looking up at Amy Yang. And here is Amy Yang at 11. This is seven iron for 149. You could not be short and left of this green. It'll come all the way back up off the green. And this one's left, Scott. Just a big miss hit, it sounded like. We haven't seen one of those in the last three days. Yeah, Julia, I think you, see, you might hit the nail on the head. She's been tentative with her putting and you now a miss hit iron shot. Maybe the nerves are getting to her a little bit here on the final nine. Let's go to 14. Yeah, Steve, NB Park to get in that tie for second. Five under. She's turning. She has a birthday tomorrow. She'll be 27. She could be celebrating. Maybe, oh, maybe today. She'll get it's a new, today. It's today. Maybe she'll get a new putter for her birthday. Yeah, I know. Flesh will give her one. Now Chuck on the par 3 12. This was a pitching wedge grab from 141 yards. You know, this hole is. 23 yards shorter than it was yesterday, but it's not as scary as the whole location. Yesterday, it's just five on the front. So pleasant, isn't she? Time of her life. Voted most popular player last year on the KPLGA. KPLGA. Easy whatever. for you to say. <laughs> they got way too many Julie. consonants in that thing. You should say the Julie Inkster of the KLGA. <laughs> now, Yama with a wedge as well. Shot. Another pitching wedge. Oh. Asking for it to go. It's trouble. Like Troy before. Six doubles here today. Her work's cut out for now just to get that up and down. Bogey on 11. What's going to happen on 12? Back to the green. On 11. Well, she's got a couple different options here, Amy Yang does. Maybe too far off the green to putt it, but if you're going to chip it, you better hit it pretty aggressively and land it just short. Right about where Amy's looking, but it is a little grainy there, so the ball's not going to take it too hard to hop if you're going to pitch it and land it on the green. You got to get up that false front. You see that dark shaded area is about a five foot rise on the green. What is she electing to do, Scott? Yeah, Steve, she's going to hit a little bump and run with like a nine iron. Uh, well, this is kind of a dicey play because it, anything landing short, you can take a bad hop. She's going to hit this very firm to get it up there. Plus, long's no good either. Yeah, Julie, good call. That is not an easy one. We just saw Shiho Oyama miss from a similar location. Pernilla Lindbergh now for birdie on 16. Look at the swing on this short putt right in the bottom. Good aggressive stroke. Gets her to three under, three under on the day. All smiles. Stacy Lewis discussing her options. Steve, this is going to break quite a bit. Some 10 or 15 feet. And it's one of those putts that uh, a lot of the women have been talking about. You've got to play it up the hill to start before it turns downhill. And they've been leaving the things a lot short and low of the hole. Scott, she almost needs to get it about hole high and then just let gravity drop it to the left, right? Oh, I agree. Yeah, so that just makes this putt very difficult. Some 35 feet. Oh, 
And that's well executed, leaving it right below the hole, some three feet. Not a putt you could get aggressive with. Up at 18. Birdie putt for Brooke Henderson. She will stay at three under. Within the top ten at the moment. Finished third at the Swinging Skirts LPGA Classic, just one shot out of a playoff. Lydia Ko and Morgan Pressel staged. And with that beautiful round today, she's going to secure a LPGA card for next year, which is a great give her, effort. Think she'll give her sister a percentage of that check? Yeah, why not? Keep it in the bloodline, right? Now this long par putt for our leader, Amy Yang, at 11. A lot of break here, Scott. Yeah, this is going to be breaking at least nine inches, Steve. Tough putt to make, left to right. Got the pace. Oh, goodness, what a good putt. Mistake there was with the third. Or even the second, you could say that, missing it. Well, they're so far off the left side of the green. Dropping a shot, back to seven under. Uh, Yama, after a horrible place to drop to in the thick rough and try to slap it up there, now she'll have a really delicate, difficult putt for her bogey. Jay, why did she elect to drop it there? You know, Julie, she had really no good options. She had that to keep the, the, the point where the, the ball last crossed the hazard between her in the whole location, or she could go to the just about eight yards to the right in a, in a drop area that left her no angle at all. I, it probably wasn't that visible on TV, but she did extremely well from a lousy lag hitting that shot well. Jay, you can see the drop area from her, the view on the screen right now, and you're right, it would be on a downhill lie out of the rough, which is nothing was easy hitting in the water there. Back to the 11th. See if Stacy can convert the par. Yes. Good lead there for her from her third shot. And where she had to put it. Just two back. Going to the exciting 12th. Pernilla Lindbergh here on the 17th the par, 370 yards. Yeah, if she can get in at 370 by far, her best finish in the tournament. Yeah, gloveless Lindbergh too, huh? You, you to, that's a, maybe the only player. Jordy, Difficult putt glove. from there, too, you guys. Now it's Sean's putt for birdie. About 17 feet. Should move quite a bit to the right. Faxman loses its speed. What a great putt for Chum. Gets her one back. Heading to the par 5, 13. A bit like Jordan Spieth, someone her age field looks so composed. Won her first major this year on the Japan Tour. And the Japan a major. Boy, great putt there. Game on. Game is on it for sure. Amy Yang knows that. And what's fun, those 13 through 17, there are some birdie chances out there. So we could see some birdies lighten it up this last four holes, 18 is tough, but 13 through 17, there are some birdie chances. Now Jay for Oyama, this is crucial. It really is, Brad. She has played so well up into this point. I don't really think she took enough club off the team, to be honest with you. But this is a downhill move quite a bit from the throw. I love her style. She's fast playing. Is that left for double? Drop her to three under. Big tie for fifth there. If she can make this.
Disappointing five. Back on the tee here now. Let's talk to Holly Saunders for a second. Now, Natalie Gompas is very good friends with Stacey Lewis, and you mentioned to me her Sunday routine. We will not see her at any cost stepping out of her comfort zone today. No, she looked at this pin sheet before, and I know that she knew the hole she could attack. Here we are. We got a par three here. It's a right pin. She's been playing a fade all week. There's some holes here in these next few holes that she's going to be able to be a little more aggressive on, especially the reachable par four. And She's not going to change her game plan. She's going to try to go at the pin she can and make birdie. She's an incredible putter and just wait for Amy to make some mistakes, which we've seen. She's too over par today. But how many second place finishes can somebody take before they say, hey, I'm just going to go for it? Maybe just uh, the golf gods uh, testing your, your patience and um, hoping uh, maybe something magical will happen in, in a major here today or coming up. We know there are a lot of pivotal holes straight ahead. We'll send it back out to the course. If she saw that pitching wedge of Oyama's before her not make it. Oh, that's going to be a tough up and down. Steep slope. She knew it too. After that bogey. Riang. Brad, this is also going to be a nine iron for Amy, which is a lot of club here, but anything short right will go right back into that creek. So she's definitely protecting a little bit here. Last couple groups, balls have gone into the creek just to the right. A little yellow water hazard sign there. Amy's Amy. Ball to the left. Quite easy to swing there. Right at it. Boy, beautifully placed, Scott. You could position your iron shots on this golf course from below the hole. All the numbers, all the statisticians, statisticians will tell you that a better chance from you know five or seven o'clock of making these putts. So much easier than being above these sloped greens, but designed by William Flynn. And over on 17, so young you, 37 feet. See if she can get into that tie at three under. Hard putt with a ton of break. Beautiful putt. A great smile. Tied for fifth now. Over to 50. Second shot for NB Park. In great position again, just needing to make a putt. Well, she's running out of holes, so she better start making them now. Well, yeah. makes this one in birdie 16. Put a cat amongst the pigeons. To 13. Well, Michelle is four over for her final round. This for birdie. I'm sure she's very disappointed with how today has gone. I'm sure more concern is that injury to her left hip. See all the tape she's being held together with. Be tough to play golf. See if she can run this one in. She does. Yeah, but I think it's been great. She's uh, had a good defense of the title. You know, she's been out here competing. She wanted to come out here and compete and defend her, her title. So got to hand it to her for at least giving it a, a shot. Well said, Julie. Let's go to 17. Lindbergh to see if she can get to four on her huge break here. Up and over this knob in the middle of the green. Never looked like it could reach, and all of a sudden it's past the hole. Yeah, Brad, I thought that was about halfway there. Julie, I went out and hit some putts on this green before the round today, and I hit that putt to start off almost on the fringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were right. Now, Scotty, would you call this delicate? Oh, Brad, this is such a tough shot. It actually kind of settled down a little bit in that first cut. 
You know, it's one you could almost putt. It might be the safest play. Okay. I would say a hybrid might be a good effort, too, here. That, yeah, that's another play, but she's... Uh, She's younger than us with good nerves, Scott. Have good access. Yeah. 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 That's another reason why she's number three in the world. She's mad those don't go in. Let's watch in slow motion now. So the handle will stop now as the club head passes, using the bounce here. Club head passes the ball on this kind of shot. Look at that thing go straight up. Easy to double hit those if you're not sure of yourself. Up to the 15th. See if NB Park can make this for Birdie. <laughs> Leaving it short. A Chihuahua. <laughs> that just tells you the lack of confidence she has. Now Yang to increase her lead. That was a green light putt, too. It's going to make Stacy Lewis feel good. She didn't lose a the shot there. She could have lost two. <laughs> Stays ahead by one. To the par five now. She looks unflappable. It's a three-footer at the U.S. Open. Yeah, it's a three-footer just coming straight back up the hill. You know, any other day, this would be a very easy putt. Any other day, I'd pick it up. You know, it's funny, Julie. She's made all her par putts so nonchalantly. And, you know, Mark Brody, who does the stats for us, he says the tour players make more four- to eight-footers for par than they do for birdie. It's just interesting. We'll probably be talking about that for 100 years. <laughs> Solid stroke for Lewis. Sure has nerves around the greens of steel. That was beautiful. Little chip down the hill. Hey, Scott, I, I, observing Amy runs off just about every green to the next tier. Is that you think that's disrupting her in a play and a rhythm? And... Come on. All right, Stacey. Come on, Stacey. Yeah. Come on, well, Scott must be. Well, okay. Greg, I'm going to answer your question. I think that's. Uh, I always thought you should always wait for your playing partner to, to finish out. Especially when you have big crowds like that, so people could start moving and stuff. Maybe she has to go to the restroom that or something. That could be you know? it too. I don't see her on the. Oh, I do see her on the tee. Maybe she's thinking how she could get her to here on two. Well, now she's standing on the tee. Now she's got time to think, right? Now when you're walking up there and you you get a chance to slow yourself down a little bit, just rest your mind a little bit. But when you get up there and you just stand static for a while, you start thinking about the, the last putt, the next two shot, what is. They used to have the three shot lead. Now they only have one. So either that or they may be a little bit behind. I don't, I'm not too sure about the, the group in front. Well, I, I think it's, it's respect in the game. I think you always have to wait for your players to finish out and then you go to the tee together. 
I don't mind the caddies going, getting to the tee, but as a player, I think you should always wait for your, your playing companions to finish out. Agreed. Greg or Julie, if your playing competitor ran ahead like that, would you consider just taking your own sweet time to get to the next tee to make them wait? Absolutely. A little gamesmanship, nothing wrong with that. Just missing a little fade there. He didn't go straight. Every day has hit three wood off this tee. Just kind of get it in the right section. Knowing that you can't reach it in two. Steve playing the longest four week, right? Today. Yeah, it is back up the hill, and uh, unless one of these two ladies hits the green in two, I think one of our staff owes everybody a little bet money. NG yeah. Chun now for her third. Good luck getting paid, but anyway. That's from 92 yards. And she just won back. Chance to tie Amy Yang for the lead if she can convert there. Yeah, she's playing the next next two weeks in Korea and then going over to the British Open. Stacy Lewis now out of the first cut up the hill. Just got to lay it up past the overhanging tree, get it far enough so you're not blocked out. It's up the left side. But well executed. Now it just becomes a wet shot. It's on the green, Inji Chun, to get a share of the lead. Wow, good effort, just not enough. Boy, she's having a lot of fun. Nice to see. I know that the U.S. Open is hanging in the balance. Good final round for Inji. Remains one back. Now Amy Yang second. Good solid swing. Just pushed it way up the right side, actually too far into the right rough. It'd be difficult to control her third out of there. Now on 18 green. And we'll see if this is the final swipe. And it is for Pernilla Lindbergh. Great turn up for Pernilla. It's good to see she's a hard worker and works hard in the gym, on the range. Obviously thrilled with her 67 today. Right now, three shots under par for the championship, four shots back. There's a lot to love about golf, and you can show your love by becoming a USGA member today. Enjoy special members' benefits by supporting the organization that supports this great game. Here's Michelle Wee. Across the slope here on 14 for birdie to get back to level. Like so many before, left it low. Be interesting, Brad, which he does the next few weeks with the British only three weeks away. She's going to take some time off and try to get healthy, or? Well, you know, Julie, she works with Dave Donatucci down in Florida on her hip, and they've been doing all kinds of stability work, single leg balancing stuff, and she's going to have to get some real physical therapy. Her mother said this morning on the range they just iced it last night, but they need to do more than that. Now on 13, Stacy Lewis is shot. Yeah, she had a quarter of shot not so long ago, too, guys. You know, you, you can't have too many of those shots, either. It's down in that saddle. Like, we carry it most of the way? It is, yeah. Or just, like, one hop and one hop? Just one hop, yeah. Even wind should be in a little off the left. 
I hope it's still a little bit. It's probably going to land something 80. I'll kind of over that carry. It kind of goes towards it, right? Yeah, so it's probably going to get a big hop. Scott, we saw a little bit of this yesterday on the same shot. Just a lot of discussion for an 80-yard wedge shot from Stacy. Yeah, she's, uh, you know, it's quite sitting on top of that knoll, so anything that lands by the hole will actually probably kick pretty hard. shot today. Six footer to get within one. What kind of lie does Amy Yang have over here on the right? Yeah, it is sitting down. It is really a nasty lie in the rough. And she's going to have a very difficult shot. She can't really go at this hole. That was always one of my pet peeves is laying, when you're laying up, and you lay the ball up in the rough. I'd be talking to myself all the way up there. Exactly, Julie. If she can get this in inside 20 feet, that would be a really good shot here. Didn't sound like solid contact, but I think she wanted to make sure she didn't make a mistake, get too aggressive. To play it very conservatively. I'll tell you what, Steve, but just thinking of the whole locations on the back nine, that actually favors Stacy Lewis and her, her shot flight. Now, NG Chun on 14, looking anxiously down the right. Oh. Went down there, she'll have to punch it up that green. Holes on the right side, so that's a bad angle. Up to Morgan Pressel here. See her right in the front bunker. 16th hole is drivable today. Every player in the field has gone after it. It's a good lead just underneath the hole for Morgan, who's two under today, three under for the championship. Back on 13 green. See the ladies doing a little gardening, fixing some ball marks. Scott, what does Amy Yang's putt look like here? Yeah, she's actually uh, got a putt that's kind of in the saddle a little bit, so it'll be fairly straight. Maybe just at the very end, try to go a little left. But not much in this putt. She's left herself in a good position, even though she's some 25 feet. Scott, her speed on these long putts have been excellent all week. Oh, absolutely, Julie. I mean, just the pace in her putting stroke is the same as her golf swing. Great rhythm and tempo. I was talking to her on the range today, and she just moved to Dallas not so long ago, and now she's thinking of moving back to Florida so she can be co closer to her coach. right up the saddle as Scott said good aggressive putt. one of the few she's gotten to the hole the back nine I had the 16 and Morgan press him so a nice bunker shot so be just off the right side of the hole did not break just two bogeys thus far on 16 today and one eagle by Miriam Lee. Field taking advantage. That was losing about a half a shot for Morgan on 16. Back on 13 green. Overall, fairly straight and side left. Scott, 
This is a huge putt for her right here. If she can get this putt, get some pressure on Amy. Hey, Joey, there's really nothing in this putt. Very straight, very straight putt. Yeah, I think the pressure is on Amy for sure. She's got uh, equally a long putt to Good shot. Well, she's held that well at that distance all day today. She has, and I really like her routine, how she takes one look and lets the, lets the puck go. Gets within one of Amy Yang, and Amy has to convert this one from four feet to maintain the lead. They trust your stroke. It's a good one, that's for sure. Maintains the lead. Five holes left in this U.S. Open Championship. Up to 14. Sean from the right rough, difficult angle. Get up. Go, 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 to get it up there. Shot, shot, shot. She took a smart route there, but she'll have a really difficult two putt across this green with a ton of slope to the front of the green. Back to 16. Drivable par three, par four today, 235 yards. Nice. Tough to keep the ball in the green. It's gonna be very exciting to see how the final groups play, but that front bunker is a good spot. Not that difficult, a bunker shot. We saw Morgan Pressel there a moment ago. today on 14. Yesterday, as you could see, they played that back tee. May the force be with Julie, it's up 30 yards from yesterday, 32 yards if you want to be exact. And the hole was much more difficult yesterday lengthwise. This, uh, players are taking advantage of going over that corner here. You just can't keep it too far right, like you see Chun in front of them. And isn't it interesting, after we Saw Stacy Lewis double bogey the fifth hole. We were writing her epitaph thinking how badly we fell for her. She's battled her way back. Yeah. And like you said, you know, she did it early. She had a lot of holes that she could, you know, play and make it up. She played those stretches from eight to 12 really well. And Julie, the 13 yeah. through 16 is really where you gotta, if you're gonna make another birdie or two, because 17, 18, you gotta hold on. Yeah, I mean, it's the right shape on it. That's perfect. Wins. Wins for not This hole fits her shape, her eye. And Brad, with this right hole location today, it'd be best if you could be on the left side of the fairway, just right of that left bunker. Absolutely, but I think it's only a short iron for these players, so anything in the fairway is good. Anxious. We were talking about, you know, after the eighth hole, Yang was at nine under, Lewis was at five under, and now we're coming to the 14th hole, and it's Yang seven, Stacy six, so she's made up a lot of ground. Let's see how Amy Yang responds now. Yes. Yes. Made a five here yesterday. Picks up the tee quickly, good sign. Good spot to attack this whole location too. 13 on three from the right edge. It's the closest we've seen any hole location to the side of the green. Up to 16. 
and be parked from the front bunker. Good shot in there, about four feet under the hole. 55 women have gone through the 16th today and 31 have made birdie. Got to take advantage of this drivable four. Let's go to 14 green. Difficult putt across this green for birdie to get to seven and tie for the lead. Great putt there from 50 side, 56 feet. Well, things are heating up here. Not only the temperature, but the tournament. Seven under par, Amy Yang, but she's got a host of contenders ready to catch her. Stacy Lewis and NG Chun, one back. The fairway. Okay. I was thinking like left edge of the white part of the scoreboard, or whatever the backside of that is there. So you like just under the number. J yeah. 40. 42. Okay. Yeah. Just good affirmations for Lewis from Travis Wilson. Yeah, Stacy had eight iron from 143. He's trying to be okay. at the center of the green here. She's going to be licking her chops at this right hole location. 41, right? That's yeah, good. yeah, just over 40. Good solid one. Just at that left edge of that white board. Okay. You can see how much further up Amy Yang's ball would go. Good 15 or 20 yards. But this is match play right now. Lewis needs to stick this close. Ah. Cut. She just tracked that one, Brad. Get right over the top of it. Yeah, but she's below the hole. She can give it a wrap. Checking out her divot. Up to 16 now. MB Park, that beautiful little bunker shot from just short. The green. Steve, she's got to be thinking three, two, three. Straight up the hill, hit it solidly out. Well done. Who would have thought that as poorly as Envy has putted this week? She's still only within two. She would be an outright runaway winner if she putted well. Over to 14. Yang wasted no time. Just a pitching wedge. 108. Both players a little cautious there, keeping it well left of this flag. And earlier, Chun tapped in his her two-footer there to stay at six. Over on 15 now with her to drive. A look at the leaderboard here. As we are running out of holes to show you on this Sunday at Lancaster Country Club, Amy Yang, her lead is one. The same pairing with Stacy Lewis, who is one under par for her day and just has that look in her eyes. She wants this championship and wants it bad. As we welcome you inside the tower here, our booth, I'm Joe Buck along with Julie Inkster. And Greg Norman, well, here we are. I mean, it's not just match play. There is a third member on this uh, on this leaderboard, and Inji Chun. But this this is a fantastic finish, and we've seen a few hiccups now from our leader Amy Yang, and uh, it's interesting to see because I think right now Stacy Lewis looks like the more confident golfer. Well, there's no question about it. She does feel confident. You can see her energy, the way she's moving, the way she's even communicating with a caddy. She's really talking about keeping in the moment in the space. So she's definitely got the uh, bit between the teeth. But you say we've only got a few holes left, but these few holes are going to turn out some 
interesting play and some great shots, Julie. Yeah, I mean, they the last four holes, they can make some birdies. got the uh, drivable 16th hole. But uh, Stacey Lewis, I mean, I think if you were to say at the beginning of the week, you can be one behind the leader with five holes, four holes to go. Would you take that? I think she would have taken it. So she did make a big hookup on number uh, six or five, making double, but she came right back at it. Yeah, but I, I think this gal here, two back after all she's been through. We heard what Steve said before. She can finish. Make a two here. And she's hanging her head a little bit. It's just a tough hole location to get to today. You gotta hit a nice, tall, high shot in there. Well, with a draw too, Julian, she likes to hit it pretty straight. That is gonna be a very difficult two putt. But like you said, Greg, if, if she can post, maybe even at five under and give some, the leader something to think about. Yeah, absolutely, Brad. I'm liking it. I'm actually excited about the last few holes here. I think we're going to see a lot of and this girl here like we just talked about. We haven't seen anybody make a long putt since Amy Yang made one back on six. You know, and Greg, I was just going to say that. I mean, Stacey Lewis, I would say this length is she's got to be one of the best putters at this length. Because she just really believes when she gets that read of that break of the putt that that's it. And she puts a very confident roll on it. And then on top of that, she's been making every putt. She's hit long, too. Every three-footer, every four-footer, every six-footer. So she, she knows she's putting well. Scott? Yeah, Greg, this putt's actually going to break some two feet to the right. So difficult Colt one to judge left to right. Yeah, great run. Still believe she has an easier putt than Yang, although Yang is closer to the hole. Over to 15. NG Chun. One shot back, her second shot here at the par four. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit right of the whole location that feet are down. Yeah, no. All right. In great position. Perfect. She's just quietly going about her business. Greens and fairways. Good look at birdie there for NG Chun. And now we go back to 14. Joe, this is a fast putt. Brad, very fast putt. Coming down the hill, should break just slightly to her right. She's left a lot of these putts short this week. See if she can get this one to the hole. Carrying speed here. Oh boy. Yeah, but Brad, it's really good to see her getting it past the hole. I know, I know she's hitting a little bit further, but I mean, I'd rather test myself for those and testing myself at the three or four foot or short of the hole. Absolutely, there's no question, Greg. And you want to be putting from below these holes on all your putts. She just looks like her pace of rhythm is just, uh, it, I mean, walking wise, Brad. And Scott, you're down there. Have you seen her walking a little bit quicker and her motions a little bit quicker? I know a golf swings like a metronome. It hasn't changed. Yeah, the only time she speeds up is just going from green to the next tee. Sometimes she'll uh, jog a little bit, run a little bit, trying to catch up and stay ahead. But uh, she's been at the same pace all day long. And this is four and a half feet of pure pressure right here, Scott. Yeah, this is one you've just got to aim in the right center to not give the hole away here. And let's see her step away and go by. She's just trying to reconfirm her thoughts, her line. Spit her strokes behind the ball. Level shoulders. Guys, we've seen her do that twice now. Her three putt at nine, where she walked in, then got back out, gave it another look. Again, she blocks it and misses that short par putt. Now. It's the U.S. Open. This I is mean, a this putt is what happens. for a three-way tie for the lead. And all of a sudden, Indy Park is very relevant. Yeah, Brad, when Imby looks up to that yep. scoreboard and sees six. <laughs> she's going to be shaking her head with all the putts she's missed. You think? 
Well, I think there's probably a few women behind saying exactly the same thing. Yeah, golf is a game of ifs. Pressure is an amazing thing. It really is. It just changes the dynamics and either gives it to you. And Greg, if you harness it, yeah. And Greg, they walk into the 15th hole, which has been the number one hole today. Only two birdies on 15. 22 bogeys. Yeah, and it suits Stacy's tee shot, and it maybe not so much with Amy's. This is where you need a really good caddy to try to get you back into the game, try to get you focused on each shot. Out of 17. Joe parked to tie for the lead on one of the most difficult putts on this hole. 42 feet. You can see that ridge there taking this ball down to the left. It's got to sit. As poorly as she's putted this week, this is why she's number one in the world. She just knows how to play the game. She's steady. She's composed. Now on 16. Drive Oval par four. This a moment ago. Here at Lancaster Coach Club, this is why. Watch this. That was the stick. That's why she has the it factor. You just never know. That's a beautiful shot. Crashed into the flag stick. Now she's got four feet for Eagle. And now NG Chun for Birdie and the lead. What are we just talking about? The next few holes are going to be a little bit exciting. <laughs> that is only, as Brad said a moment ago, the third birdie now at 15 all day. That's the biggest. And now back on the tee. I'll go. Oh, that's a big mistake there. What do you think about Stacy Lewis? Trying to put four of the best holes together in her career to win this championship, the one she wants the most. Oh, that look on her face, too, says it all. It's just like a lot of emotion has just been sucked out of her right there. You have to believe that back at the team ground, they heard the roar with the birdie putt of Inji Chun, which she just ran in here at 15 to take the lead. No question they heard it. Yeah, we can see a lot of oil being leaked right here by Amy. These two are gonna have to work hard to get their pars. Now the par putt for Envy Park. Six footer. Can you believe it? Right when she got within a shot of the lead. She just totally quit on that putt. Well, that really fooled her too. It broke a lot to the left. And I got to give that iron a little blame there off the tee because she needed to keep that to the left a little more. Stacy Lewis and she is in some trouble down there Scott Joe she really is this ball is sitting way down and she's got that big tree about 110 yards away from her that she cannot get this ball on the green she's going to have to play on somewhere short left and try to get up and down yeah Scott it looks like an area of the golf course too that very few people have been to so it looks like grass is standing straight up and thick and lush Amy Yang will be first to play here on 15 out of the rough on the other side. 
And Amy actually does have a little bit better line, and she's got the whole right side of the fairway that she can run it up there. Oh, we're good. She's going to try to blast a six on out of here and just try to run it up. Comes up short. Yeah, not too bad, but at least she's left herself underneath the hole. This for Eagle a moment ago at 16. Now you see how exciting this hole can be. Next hole for our leaders, but Michelle Wee capitalizes on that great tee shot. Just the second Eagle of the day at 16. Now back all the way down. 15. Thank you for having me. Yeah, just to help it up. This might be one where she just wants to lay out to a yardage here. She can lay it up some 70, 80 yards. That might be better than if you try to go for this up. Get it up near the green because that'll leave you such a difficult chip, and I don't even think she can keep it in the fairway if she's trying to reach the green here, though. Yeah, I agree with you. She was working with Travis on the range this morning, hitting the, the shots a certain distance. Got to sit down, though. Ooh, that might have got right across into heavier rough, too. It Scott. did, Craig, and that's exactly what I thought might happen if she tried to knock it up here closer. Now up ahead at 16. Championship leader, and Jean Chun, she's got the driver. Been a lot of fairway woods used today. 225 yards to carry the front greenside bunker. Any ball that's landed on the green today, besides Michelle Wees that just rattled the flag stick has gone over. And how they been getting it up and down from the back of the green, Steve? Well, about half of them. The rough over the green is very difficult, very long rough. Right is right is tough, right? Very tough. Um, right bunker can be done, but the women have had a tough time from there today. Just not enough green and it slopes away from them. Jay, has she been flighting the ball today? Right to left? She's been in such control of her game, Craig. She's been predominantly right to left, but I have seen her hit a couple left to right as well. Yeah, heading toward that right bunker. Oh. It flies it. About hole high. Going to be a tough up and down from there. Sloping away from her. See what she's got left. Anything inside 15 feet from there would be a great golf shot. Ahead to 18T. NB Park. Four under, three shots back. Nice. nice shot. It has been a series of missed putts for NB Park, the world's number one. Opportunity has been there, but not been able to convert. Yeah, what could have been, right, Joe? What could have been? No doubt. Now third shot for Amy Yang. Joe, this is going to be from 61 yards. She's got a good look. Right down the center of the screen. Does she have a little bit of a backstop back there, Scott? You know, she has a, maybe a little bit of a backstop, Julie, but anything left of this whole location will actually drift back off the green, so she can use the kind of the bumper to the right. And just kick it down to the left a little bit. This might be the most important up and down in her career. Yeah, very aggressive shot. And now ahead here at 18, Morgan Pressel for par. par. And a round of 68, three under for the championship. 
Yeah, Morgan's another one. You can see what it could have been. But like on that line, it's just going to be down at 15. You know what I mean? Stacy Lewis, one shot just back at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, she doesn't have any key trouble with that tree in the front. Well, if it gets up quickly, Greg, it could catch just some of the leaves of the tree, but okay. she's got 59 yards and she just talked about trying to land it around 42, 43 and let it release. But this ball is also sitting way down with the grass going back into it. Difficult to control the spin. What happened there, Scott? So just going right back into it and she just hit it high on the club face. Just watch right here, I'm trying to get down underneath it. Yeah, just you can see it hit, you're absolutely right, Scott. Hit very high on the club face, popped that ball right up. You can see where she's looking way high and put it in the front left bunker. Doesn't look like it gets any easier for her either, Scott. Well, now she's got a long bunker shot, some 30 yards, so not an easy one to get up and down, but it just shows you if you get out of position off the tee, the women's open, you really pay a heavy penalty. Yeah, the look on her face when she hit the tee shot, waiting for Amy to hit, you could see there was a, it was almost like she was drained all of a sudden. Like she was disgusted with herself. Yeah. She has to get this up and down for bogey. Yeah, beautiful bucket shot. Gives herself a chance at it. She has one double today. That came back at the fifth when she hit in the water. And now here at 18, second shot for Envy Park. How about a two? Great view of the gallery out there. A lot of people came out to support the women's open. Boy, she should have been right. She was right. Yeah. Had a two. <laughs> <laughs> In a position now to get to five under for the championship. Come on, NBA, a little small. That was a great shot. And now our leader, NG Chun. He's in the green side bunker. You see her looking out to the right of the hole. It's going to be, it's going to take a very well executed shot with a lot of speed just to keep this ball within 10 feet. Yeah, it's Steve. Got a life, Steve. Oh, just a bit on the upslope, which will definitely help a bit. Yeah, Steve, when I got in a situation like this, I actually created more club head speed by letting go with my top three fingers of my left hand and just let the club face just whip in underneath the ball and as much speed as I could possibly get. I don't recommend everybody out there try that shot without we'll a lot of practice. We'll see how close she's going to come to that fringe. She almost has to land it just in that collar to have a chance to keep it inside five feet. Well done, but you see it just runs away. Got to make sure you get that ball on the green, not get too close. She's got about 14 feet left for birdie. Back to 15. And now the bogey putt for Stacy Lewis. Oh, you can see that putt of wave coming through. Her second double of the day. Frustration for Stacy Lewis. There are the two doubles at five and now here at 15. For a moment, climbed into a share of the lead. And now a big putt here for Amy Yang. That's a 
tough feeling to have for Stacy as she yeah. worked on the back of the green. Yeah, you, know, you work, you work so hard, you work so hard, you work so hard. You get there, you get there, and then one swing. This for par. Like I said a minute ago, this would be the biggest up and down of her life. So with that, the rest of that for Bogey. With our leader, Inji Chun, staring at a long birdie putt. At 16. Okay, Inji birdies 15, and Stacy doubles, and Amy bogeys. Well, quite honestly, the tee shots from both the women just really put them in that bad position. NB Park now with her birdie putt at 18. And who knows? Five under for the championship. And happy birthday. With a 67. And now NG Chun for birdie to lead this championship by three. I have to be honest with you, Joe. I didn't see this coming. You know, I thought it was a two two horse race starting out and uh, she's just played a beautiful round of golf today. Well, Jay, you've been out there following this group. You, you think the opposite, right? You said she's been playing magnificent golf all day. My gosh, Greg, somebody needs to notify this young woman that this is the U.S. Open. She's not like she's playing with her girlfriend, just having the time of her life. <laughs> well, that's probably why she's three under today. Well, and the scoreboard here at the 16th hasn't changed. Hasn't reflected the bogey and the double bogey of Amy Yang and Stacy Lewis, so she thinks she still has just a one-shot lead with this first attempt. She got a great look at um, she we almost put so we got little uphill moving a little to her right. Oyama made Herbie here to get to minus four. And now a three shot lead. Inji Chun continues to pour it on. She's going to be pleasantly surprised when she gets to 17 and sees that she's got a three shot lead if she's looking at the board. What a great round of golf Inji's playing today. Like you said, Greg, you can see the, just the, the energy is sapped out of Stacy with that double bogey. Either one of these ladies is going to have a chance to challenge Inji coming in. They're going to have to take advantage of the 16th. This is the hardest part right now, knowing too that you just double the last hole to keep your try to keep your positive attitude going, trying to get a birdie, birdie. I mean, Stacy, what's one thing with Stacy? She won't give up, and I know Amy won't either. So they got to keep playing the golf course. Scott, what is Amy Yellick to hit off the tee here? Yeah, Amy's going with three wood here. You know, she's backed off quite a bit today, just trying to stay in her rhythm. Three is plenty of club here. Amy's three over today. Plenty of club, good line. Let's see if it's enough to carry the bunker. It is. First ball that's landed on the green and stayed there. You see just short that big pitch mark and now she's got an eagle attempt. That's an unbelievable shot. That's just great shot. That's showing your intestinal fortitude. Yes. Stepping up there to do that. And she'll have that for eagle as she trails right now by three. Up to 17. Showing our leader now. 
the 170 yard par three with that whole location to the left. And, you know, it's funny, her caddy, Dean Hurden, Hurden, has caddied for four major championships on the LPGA Tour. Three for G.A. Sheen and one for Sosoyo. So okay. he's got experience. He's done a great job of keeping her loose facts. This is a six hand. If she has to make any error, it's just a little short of the flag and just a little right. to the 16th. Stacy now with the driver. <laughs> Familiar shape. Not the worst place in the front bunker. Good angle and a good lie. So can Amy Yang or Stacy Lewis put any pressure on Inji Chun? who's leading by three with two holes left in the U.S. Women's Open. Is your daughter age 7 to 17? Sign her up today for LPGA USGA Girls Golf. See how the game of golf can help empower young women in reaching their potential. To learn more, visit girlsgolf.org. Pick it up here at 16. Stacy's in the front bunker. And Steve, she got a good break. It's a hit right in the top of the lip that came out of its pitch mark, and she's just down at the bottom of the bunker. Very easy bunker shot, just coming back up the hill. Scott, she really needs to hold this to have any chance. She's four back. Needs to finish basically eagle birdie birdie. And it's hard to believe just two holes ago she was basically tied for the lead. Go. 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 Very popular lead for the women in the bunk out of the bunker today. That five feet underneath the hole. Let's go up to 18. Defending champion Michelle Wee, one under for this championship. Second shot. And she's gotten it out today. Well, she's for the, the whole tournament, really. Pretty impressive performance. She'll have that left to get to even par for her final round and two under for the championship right now is six shots behind NG Chun who's got a great look at birdie at 17. But we go to 16. Well there's been two Eagles thus far. We saw Michelle Wee make one a few, mo few moments ago. Miriam Lee made one much earlier in the day. No other option now for Amy Yang but to run this in. Steve is a very makeable putt though just coming straight down the hill. You know, if anything, maybe moves just slightly to the left, but not much in it. That left shoulder there have any effect, maybe, Scott, where the bunk is sitting? Uh, just maybe. You know, I've looked at this putt from all different directions, Greg, and I'm just not seeing much in it. This to get within one of the lead. Did she? She did. Boy, you gotta love this game. <laughs> That's just incredible. Exciting stuff. That shows a lot of heart right there. Love to see that. 
She didn't hang her head. She got up there and hit the shot when she needed to hit it. Incredible. Chun was ready to punt. She stepped away right as she heard that roar from Yang's eagle. What do you see here, Brad? Say, I think it goes a hair to the right, but it can't be much. Just a touch, Brad, but more importantly, it's very, very quick down the hill. You can't stop this girl. She's putting on a clinic. That puts her five under for today's round, which is the lowest round of the day. And 65 is the best round ever shot in the last round. Okay, Stacy converts her birdie. Still four back, though, with only two left. Shio Oyama, her putt for par. She's hanging right in there. One on her on the day, four under for the championship, and alone in fifth. And a lot of spirit for the 38-year-old star from Japan. Look at her high-fiving yeah. people walking over the final hole in the U.S. Open. Here's her putt on 17. The 20-year-old pumping fists, making friends. Kissing babies. And winning the biggest <laughs> golf tournament in the world. Incredible. She's birdied four of the last six holes in the U.S. Open. Well, she is a leading money winner on the KLPGA, so she knows how to win. She might run away. Now Yang back on the tee. This hole will fit her shot shape, but she can't afford to bail out to the right. This is where you're hoping you have just a perfect club. You can just go ahead and swing at. And Brad, she's got 170 yards and she's chosen a six iron. So this is a, right in her wheelhouse is a perfect yardage for that six iron. And that's what you're hoping for. She you better do what Chung did and aim right at this flag. So you can see the tower right up at the top if she can draw it off that. She's woken up. Now let's go to the 18th hole. Beautiful shot by Yang. And now our leader, N.G. Chun. That right bunker shouldn't be a problem for her. Nine. Oh, and a hook. Right over the top, Greg. Yeah, that's just a nervous swing. Oh, and that Ooh. buried down deep, too. That went deep. She's parred this 18th every round so far, and she's got some work to do here to make it four in a row. Yeah, and I think right there, you could tell she felt the nerves. Try to loosen up her fingers a little bit. Got to watch Michelle Wee for birdie at 18. To get to two under. Oh! And a nice finish for the defending champion. In pain throughout, and that pain got worse as we went. Where's that ice bag? <laughs> now back to 17. More difficult shot for Lewis with her lower flight. It's a six iron, Brad, and it's headed right at it. Oh, she just hit the lip. That thing bounced backwards hard. Firing it right at 
up the flag. Ji Chun here at 18, our leader by two, but in the heavy rough on the left side. Yeah, Joe, two shots found the primary rough, and this is a really nasty thick lock. No way to get this ball in the green. This is great when you have an experienced caddy like Dean. Give me a flag, sir. You know, he's caddy for Sonny and Son you at uh, yep. Colorado when she won. Flag, so he's been there. He can guide her around, show her what shots to hit. Julie, she's got her pointed out to the right of this cross bunker up here, just short of the game. Middle of the fairway with her second shot. Yesterday, NG was quoted about her experience here in her first U.S. Open as we pick it up here at 17. This birdie putt, Brad, huge. Huge after Eagle on 16 to get within one. Not much break there. And she's yeah. Unbelievable. Boy, she got some hot, Brad. <laughs> What a great putt to be able to do that back to back, and now John in trouble on 18. And right before this putt, Stacy Lewis's bunker shot. She has to hold this thing. A great effort for Stacy. Well, how about Amy Yang going 2-2? Two, two. That's she might need to go 2-2-3. Two, two, We've got five of the last seven win winners here at the U.S. Women's Open have been Korean. And if this young woman, Inji Chun, could win here today in her first try at a U.S. Women's Open Championship, she would be the third youngest to ever do it. Inji Park at the top of the list, Seiru Park, the age of... 20 years old, nine months, eight days back in 1998, and that started the entire fascination with golf. So many young Korean born players. It's all carry. I've all come in, so I'm just going to say. Yep. Wanted to follow Sayri Pop, held her up as a hero. As Brad said a moment ago, like NG Shun could be the sixth okay. winner of the last eight U.S. Open. Korean born. Right now leading by one. 123 yards, Joe. She shows in the nine iron. Getting back to what you said about Sari Pack, I mean, Sari Pack really did for Korean golf, for women's Korean golf, what Tiger Woods did for golf over here. I mean, she really put the golf on, on the map for the Korean girls to come over here and play. Know that they can do it, know that they had the opportunity to do it. And now back at the tee. 
trailing by one at the moment, Amy Yang. And again, backing off Joe. Feeling it, but she, tell you what, she's going to be feeling a lot better now than where she was 20 minutes ago. She's gone eagle birdie last two holes. She goes. Amy Yang plays holes 16 and 17, three on. Here on 18 green. Oyama first to putt. Both putts here at 18 will be for par. The big one will follow, and that by Inji Chun to try and stay at nine under. There's plenty of time for Inji to look at a putt. If there is a tie, it'll be a three hole aggregate playoff 12, 13, and 18. Right now it's Oyama. A bogey here at 18. The big club will follow from Inji Chun. We saw the drive of Amy Yang head into the rough. Scott, how does it look down there? Yeah, Joe, it's sitting down pretty good. I don't think she can fly it on the green, and she's got to carry this cross bunker. So she's going to have to carry it some 100, probably 45 yards, and get something running up this green. Very difficult second shot out of the rough. This putt should move at least a couple cups right to left. It's got both player and caddy full attention. This for par to stay at nine under and a shot out in front of Amy Yang who's back in the rough. Like a good putt, good stroke. Just a little over red. One thing's for sure, Amy Yang saw all of that, Julie. Oh, yes. That's when it's nice to keep up with the group in front of you. What a day, though, for the 20 year old NG Chun, who is now tied at eight under par, shooting a 66. Here on Sunday. It's like Greg says, you can't be disappointed in that part. She had a really good part. Well, now it's Amy Yang. Her fellow competitor, Stacy Lewis, will be first to play, but the focus will be on Amy Yang, who has it all out in front of her right now. Good job. Good. Go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 
down a little thin. Front of the green for Stacy Lewis, who started her day trailing Amy Yang by three. She still trails Amy Yang by three. Yang tied at the top. Hey, Scott, what's the carry over that cross bunker to the front of the green? Yeah, Greg, she'd have to carry it at least 140 yards to carry that bunker. And she's got hybrid out of this very deep line. You know, if she can get it trundling, it could run up there, but it's such a steep slope. She's going to have to have perfect contact to get it anywhere close to this hole. Yeah, the front, that, that cross bunker is a no-go zone, right? No, not at all. She's got, I mean, she's got to carry it. And this is one of those trying to hit with a hybrid. This could really go nowhere. I wonder if she knows that N.G. Chun made bogey here at 18. Oh, yeah, she short saw it. <laughs> Good thing that thing went to the right. It'd be right in that cross bunker. So yeah. she was lucky there. Well, a little more drama. Needing to get that up and down to force a three-hole playoff. Not too much unlike what we saw at Chambers Bay with Jordan Speed finishing, then watching. Somebody try and chase him down. In that case, it was Dustin Johnson who had that eagle putt to win it. Three putted to give the second major of the year to young Jordan Spieth. Here, it's Yang in a position needing to get up and down to play on. Well, I mentioned back on 15, it was going to be the biggest up and down of a life. Well, I think this one might pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Yang trying to avoid her second second place finish at the U.S. Women's Open. She did that back in 2012. Finished fourth last year. Still looking for her first major. Scott, how far she got? 75 she, yards? No, nah, she's got 63 yards, Greg, and it's almost the same yard that she had on 15. You know, she knocked it right to the hole high. It's like the shot we hit earlier. That's a great example of a tremendous amount of club head speed to generate that backspin the way she did. And G, there's a coach on the left. Well, at least she left herself a straight up hook putt. She can go ahead and be aggressive at it. Stacy might give her a little bit of help. Last 10 or 12 feet. Very close to a line of Amy Yang's. This, by the way, for Lewis would get her to six under par by herself if she could somehow run this one in. And Four rounds in the 60s as well. You know, we said at the start, you know, she'd have to play, play a clean slate of golf, and she just made two bad swings today. And 
cost her the trophy. A double at five, a double at 15. Very good, Joe. It didn't move at all. That's just, I hope Amy was watching that. Obviously going straight up the fall line on the green. This two-time major champion looking for her third and looking for her first win of 2015. It will not come here this week. Joe, maybe she can look forward to Turnbury and the great golf course for her to win her first tournament of the year at the British Open in a couple of weeks. She won that championship back in 2013. But now it's Amy Yang who needs to make to force a playoff. Scott, do you get your eyeball on this? I did, Greg, and there's just not much in this putt at all. And she got a good read off Stacy's putt. Stacy got it almost all over the hole, so went almost over Amy's mark. Should be just a straight putt straight up the hill. is the U.S. Women's Open champion. She looks like she doesn't realize she's the champion. A winner in her first try. She has won it. And is the sixth Korean born player to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship over the last eight years. A round of 66 for Inji Chun is what got it done today. And now this for bogey for Amy Yang. And a round of 71 started this day with a three shot lead and has her second runner up finish in a women's open championship. Well, there's two very disappointed women in that group. So you got to say, Inji Chun, she played a great round of golf. Put the pressure on those two and deserved the win. Well, she knew she had to get it the hole, just misread it. It's got McCarran say there was nothing in it. Inji Chun with four birdies down the stretch to help her along to a round of 66. And there's her reaction. 
playing in her first women's open championship coming into today. She said everything I experience here it's new completely new. It's an adventure for me so. Tomorrow is going to be the same thing. Well today. It was fun. Fun and a win for Eden G. Chun. She said if I keep doing what I'm doing. Enjoying every moment of this playing time, the result will just come automatically. The result, a win, and a U.S. Women's Open Championship for Ng Chun. Back after this.